So I am sitting with one of my favorite performers, Tony nominee, Norm Lewis. I've seen you in so many things, most recently Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd yeah. But I came to see you when you did The Phantom of the Opera yeah, yeah. and Porgy and Bess. I mean, your credits roll on and on and on and on. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank and, you, Lord. And here you're going to be doing from December 18th through the 23rd, Santa Baby? Santa Baby, yeah, yeah. You know, going to be asking Santa for a lot of stuff, you know, going back into my childhood childhood and some of my adulthood uh, just uh, we need I need more I need more I need more and I think what I need more is love well tell us about the show though I I know that uh, every time I've seen you perform you do an amazing show and I've seen you in the you know smaller clubs mm -hmm. and even the appell room yeah yeah, well, Richard J. Alexander is, you know, phenomenal. He's a good friend, but he's also my director. And Joseph Joubert at the musical directing, and such a great band, Perry Cavari and George Farmer. We just have a good time together, and we want to bring songs that we know that um, people will enjoy. People, it, it, I, I'm, I'm into a lot of the arts, artsy kind of songs as well, but sometimes people are not into that as much mm -hmm. and uh, especially during the holiday time <laughs> so i would rather bring people songs that are familiar or something that i know will touch their hearts and um i just want to i basically i don't even want to call it a show i want to call it a party but if people are nice i will give out gifts as well and uh, we're just gonna have a good time well We'll try to be here to see it, Absolutely. and I wish you all the very, very, very best. Thank you. And Thank always you. good to see you. Mwah. This woman is like, she's going to be my stylist, my girlfriend, <laughs> my everything, my wife. I can't wait for the after party. Uh. <laughs> Perfect. I am sitting here with the incredibly talented, oh, Tony-nominated, beautiful, you. talented Vivian Reed. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. And you're returning yes. back to Feinstein's 54 Below with your Lena Horn yes. show. So you've got December 7th, February 7th, 7th and March 7th. Yes. You're like a, a, a resident performer now here. Yeah, I love it. Well, I chose uh, Feinstein's 54 Below because she was so elegant. Lena Horne was so elegant, and I, th and I think because of the elegance of this club without it being stuffy, it was the perfect setting for the show. Do you know, I don't know if you know this, because I certainly didn't until I started reading up on her life. You know, she didn't think she could sing in the what? beginning. I know, I said the same thing. She would watch some of the greats who were older than her and who were out there doing it, and she kind of learned, because when she first started, when her mother yanked her out of school, she went to work um, in the Cotton Club as a dancer. But everybody's been talking about everything that you did, oh, that your show you. is just spectacular. Thank you. So we wish you much success thank and a you. wonderful run. Thank you so much, Jamie. And I'll come back and see Yes, yes for sure, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. I have the privilege of sitting with two-time Tony nominee Alice Ripley. We are unattached, but she's going to be here unattached with her co-star Emily Skinner from Sideshow. You want to tell us about the, your four shows here? And they're yeah. repeats. You've been here a lot. Well, this is our third run of Unattached, so we added a couple. We changed a couple of things just to keep it interesting. We added a couple of new songs, um, but it's at 7 p.m on November 28th, December 1st, 2nd and 6th. Well, it's a very it's very exciting and I know I've seen that I've seen, you know, versions of it and to see the two of you in the original sideshow was probably one of the most exciting things that I had seen on a stage. It's fun. Yeah, definitely it'll be worth It'll be worth your time if you give us 70 minutes. Oh, I'm sure it's worth your time. And, and how do you like working at Feinstein's 54 Below? It's like a second home here. Um, I think that they, it's my favorite room in town because they really know how to treat everybody, not just the artists, yeah. but the people in the audience as well. Everything from like these comfortable booths, elbow room where you're not bumping into your neighbor, the food is delicious. Um, they're always updating the menu. The staff works as hard as any staff I've seen in a room. It's a great location. Oh yeah, we love the center. The Sound centrally is great. located. I love the bathrooms. Ah, you know, lots well, of good we, things. We wish you a wonderful, wonderful run, and very happy holidays and all good things always. Thanks, Jamie. Good to Thank see you. Thank you so much. Oh, good always, to see you too. Always yeah. good to see you.